New South Wales Tourism Minister Stuart Ayres is warning of ongoing delays at Sydney Domestic Airport. Travellers have had to wait in long lines due to major staff shortages in the lead up to Easter. Airport security officers have been offered $50 gift cards to work during the next two weeks. People are being told to arrive two hours before their flight, check in online and pack luggage correctly. Travellers are also experiencing delays at Brisbane and Melbourne Domestic Airport. Joining me now live to discuss is the Flight Centre CEO, Graham Turner. Graham, good morning. Thanks for joining us. This must be an absolute nightmare for travellers right now. Yeah, look, it is a bit of a mixed um, uh, bag. Uh, I came through Sydney Airport on Qantas 4pm Sunday and there was no queues at all. But I know a lot of people that we've been talking to, both with Virgin and Qantas and Jetstar, yeah, there, there have been long delays, particularly at certain times of the day. But, you know, um, that's the bad news. The good news is so many people travelling, of course, and uh, um, it's, it's a, certainly a relief after the last couple of years. Oh, I can imagine it would be, particularly for uh, tourism companies like yourself and, and tourism operators. Overall, though, are you worried that this might actually discourage people from wanting to hop on a flight in the near future? Yeah, I mean, if it goes on for too long, but certainly I know um, talking to, you know, Sydney Airport and Qantas, um, they do expect to be able to sort this out reasonably quickly. Uh, you know, it, it's it's a combination of a few things, and I think Alan Joyce said, you know, even um, the average customer, the average passenger, is taking a bit longer to get through. Uh, there's obviously the COVID um contacts, you know, close contacts, which has now been uh, lifted for airport workers. So so these sort of things um, will soon, I think, have a, have a really positive effect. One of the other things, and talking to people who've come through with these, uh, you know, long lines, generally the airlines will search out, search you out for, um, you know, uh, aircraft or uh, trips that are leaving quick um, soon and put you up the head of the line. Now, that doesn't help people who do the right thing and get there early, but I think it's just a combination of these things. I think um, over Easter, uh, particularly, you know, Thursday, Friday and uh, Monday, there will be some long queues, but I think next week we'll be pretty much back to a, um, a normal. That's what we're being told anyway. What do you make of the decision by Qantas to get senior managers unloading bags? They're also offering uh, cash incentives to airport workers. Is this a sign of desperation or do you think that this might actually help? Yeah, I don't think it's a desperation. I mean, this has happened before. Um, well, I can remember, you know, baggage handler strikes where they do get their management team to uh, to go there and it, all these things help a little bit, you know. Um, so uh, I, I don't think it's desperation. They certainly, I know, want to do the right thing by their customers. And as as you said, we don't want to um, uh, dampen the travelling spirit of people by um, them, you know, having a bad experience at the airport. So uh, I think it's a fair enough move. Um, whether it'll make a lot of difference, it's a bit hard to say. There have been some reports that some airlines are overbooking people and therefore bumping uh, people from flights, resulting in some families actually being split up. What are consumers' rights in this situation? Look, it will depend on the situation, but I, I think I think that generally um, being bumped is, is a pretty unusual thing. Uh, there's a lot of flights very full, particularly domestically, uh, but also some of the international flights uh, are filling up now, although there's probably not as much capacity there. Um, as for your rights, generally the airline should be able to put you on another flight with no penalty. Uh, that would be the usual thing. Um, but every airline probably has a slightly different um, booking conditions on that. No, I can't give you the, the full rundown on that, but certainly I'd expect to be, if you were bumped, to be put on another flight with no penalty. Um, you know, th there are certain protocols where you can get some compensation, automatic compensation for this as well. So uh, it'll just depend on the airline and the circumstances. Just finally, Graham, uh, what would you say to customers who are travelling this long weekend? I look, just get there uh, early. You know, they're, they're advising you two hours. Uh, the chances are you won't need the two hours, but uh, you, you know, better, better, better get there early and um, you know, have a cup of coffee or um, uh, just have a bit of a relax so that um, 
uh, you, you you know you don't not going to miss your plane um, and just try to enjoy the uh, enjoy the long wait if, if if you have to. And enjoy the the travel that you'll be uh, facing soon. <laughs> Graham Turner, thank you very much for joining us this morning. Thank you.